All right, we're going to be looking at section 10.2. Uh, this is the uh, fundamental counting principle. And this first problem we have is 7 factorial. Okay. <clears throat> so it looks like 7 exclamation point. All right, but it's this exclamation point is called factorial in math. And it simply means you're going to multiply this number and every number preceding it all the way down to 1. All right, so that means we're going to do 7 times 6 times 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. <clears throat> all right, so we're going to multiply these all together, and that will give us our final answer. Um, while I'm here, there is a special um, rule or, um, I guess, a fact that you need to know. Um, zero factorial by definition this is equal to one so this is just something that you need to note make a note of this zero factorial is equal to one <coughs> by definition okay so if we multiply um, seven six five four three two one uh, we get 42 42 times 5 that's 210 840 uh, 840 is 2520 2520 and then 5040 alright so I'm going to show you a couple ways to do this <clears throat> that's a big number to kind of multiply and try to do mentally um, so you got a basic calculator uh, let me pull this up alright so I'm just going to type in 7 times 6 times 5 and 4 3 2 and 1 alright so we get 540 50 40 so that's what we got here <clears throat> and then if you're able to use a graphing calculator which that is okay as well I want to show you some of its functionality get my screen back up all right so with a um, graphing calculator it has some of these features so I'm gonna it's already on <clears throat> if I type the number 7 in and I'm gonna do 7 factorial this math button here uh, pulls up some options so we can go all the way over here to PRB that stands for probability so if you just arrow back it highlights it and notice option number four has that exclamation point for factorial again it's called factorial so I'm going to just hit the number four and so seven factorial if I hit enter it just computes it for me 50 40 alright so just a couple ways that you can work and get that uh, factorial so this first answer is 50 40.